The Rocket is a 2013 Australian drama film written and directed by Kim Mordaunt. It is set entirely in Northern Lao, and spoken in the Lao language. As an Australian production, it was the country's entry for Best Foreign Language Film at the 86th Academy Awards but was not nominated. The Rocket won the Audience Award and the Award for Best Actor in a Narrative Feature Film at the Tribeca Film Festival. It was screened at the AFI Fest. Topic <inaudible> Plot <inaudible> In the Lao Mountains, a woman named Mali Alice gives birth to twins, of which one survives. Her husband's mother, Taitok Yindi says that the living child must also die, because legend has it that when twins are birthed, one twin is blessed while the other is cursed. Believing her sole living son to be blessed, Mali refuses to kill him and so, she and Taitok keep it a secret from her husband, Toma Warren. Seven years later, the living twin named Arlo learns that a second dam is being built, so Toma takes Arlo to see the dam, where a video is shown, revealing that the people of Arlo's village will have to be relocated since the valley that they live in will be flooded between the two dams. So Arlo and his family move through the woods, taking his boat with them, after much dispute. With the help of a plowing buffalo, they manage to get the boat halfway up the hill, only for the ropes to snap, sending the boat crashing into Mali, killing her. Furious, Taitok reveals to Toma that Arlo is a twin and that, "...he should have died." After burying Mali, Arlo and his family ride a bus to their new village, which Taitok doesn't much like due to the running water and electricity that replaces their "...traditions." Here, Arlo meets a girl named Kia Lungnam Kaosinam, who has lost her entire family due to malaria and now lives with her uncle, Purple Southup po Ngam, who is a fan of James Brown. Kia shows Arlo soft land for him to grow mangoes on, which he wishes to do in honor of his mother, but Toma forbids Arlo from associating with them, making Arlo destroy Toma's model house out of anger. He then visits Kia and Purple again and learns that all the electricity that was promised to the people are being used by the hydro bosses. The following night, Arlo sneaks out and attempts to get electricity for the people by hooking up some cables to the main power source, but owing to his bad luck, he ends up causing a blackout for everyone else except for Kia and Purple, who have electricity for their television set. The next day, Arlo tells Kia about his tribe's tradition about being a cursed twin. When he accidentally desecrates a sacred shrine, Arlo, Toma and Taitko have their house and belongings burnt in retaliation. Along with Kia and Purple, they all sneak out of the village in a cart filled with undetonated bombs from the war or UXO. They journey for days and eventually arrive at Purple's village, which they call Paradise, which seems to have no other inhabitants. Arlo and Kia run off into the bushes to play, but Arlo almost sets off a bomb in the event of smashing fruit that Kia threw to him. Toma proposes moving again due to the land being surrounded by these dangerous bombs which explains why there are no other inhabitants. While journeying for yet another home, Arlo and company cross paths with a parade of travelers, where he hears an announcer mention a rocket competition that gives out cash prizes. While settling down, they are met by the village chief who tells them that the purpose of the contest is to launch them into the clouds in which they'll explode and produce rain. Believing this could break his curse, Arlo announces his intentions to build a rocket and enter the contest to earn the money for them to buy a new home, but Toma and Taitko won't allow him, due to his presumed bad luck. Arlo nevertheless still decides to build his own rocket and runs off. While walking through the woods in search of things to build his rocket with, Arlo comes across another unexploded bomb, but its hard casing proves to be usable for a rocket, but blows up seconds after Arlo hits it with a rock, he survives. 
Later, Arlo manages to get Purple, who turns out to be a former soldier, to help him build the rocket. Purple takes Arlo to a bat cave to collect bat droppings that, according to Purple, can be used for blasting up the rocket. Inside the cave, Arlo comes across a woman who considers him to be an evil spirit, causing him to run out of the cave screaming. The rocket festival begins the next day. While some people are launching their rockets, Arlo is still in the woods trying to put his together. He grinds the bat droppings into powder, but tests it out on a few mini rockets, to no avail, so Arlo tries urinating on the bat dropping powder advised by Purple, who said that can make it work better. In the contest, Toma launches his rocket, named Lucky, but lets go of it too soon and launches it poorly. A champion rocket named the Million is launched afterwards which successfully reaches the clouds. Arlo brings his rocket in, which he calls the Bat, but the announcer tells him that kids aren't allowed to launch. Arlo asks Toma to launch it, but Taitko doesn't allow him to, believing that the Bat will blow everyone up because of Arlo's bad luck. Nobody else volunteers to do so and Arlo then runs off. Toma decides to launch it anyway. Kia catches up to Arlo and tells him what his father is doing, and so he runs back to the contest, thinking the rocket will kill Toma, and shouts his apology over the loud roaring of the rocket. The bat is launched properly this time and it reaches the clouds. The bat then surprisingly explodes inside the cloud, causing it to rain. Arlo wins 10 million kip and is now no longer considered cursed. Topic: <laughs> Cast. Sithifan Dissimo as Arlo. Lungnam Kaosinam as Kia. Southup Po Ngam as Purple. Bunsri Yindi as Taitok. Sumrit Warren as Toma Alice Keoavong as Mali Reception and awards The rocket was met with critical acclaim, earning an approval rating of 98% on Rotten Tomatoes Sherry Linden of the Los Angeles Times gave a positive review, commenting Mordant doesn't always succeed at balancing the sentimental, the political and the ethnographic, but at its strongest the story is a seamless melding of history's dark undertow and a child's indefatigable optimism." Kyle Smith of The New York Post thought the film was, "...long on atmosphere and less sentimental about poverty than beasts of the southern wild, but the film carries a potent charge of authenticity." Joe Morgenstern of the Wall Street Journal called the characters cliches, but the performances utterly fresh. Avi Offer of NYC Movie Guru called the film uplifting, engrossing, and thrilling while remaining accessible to both art house and mainstream audiences. It's destined to become a sleeper hit. Noah Berlatsky of the Dissolve called the film a well-constructed delivery system for sparkly cheer, but it lacks a more substantial payload." Mark Adams of Screen International praised the film's visuals, calling them a stunning location of Lao that provides an enthralling and evocative backdrop for writer, director Kim Mordant's engaging film The Rocket, a lush and bruising coming-of-age story. See also List of submissions to the 86th Academy Awards for Best Foreign Language Film List of Australian submissions for the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film